Let's look forward in terms of what your aspirations are for Altec from this point. Mm. Where is this company going? Bronwyn, I think, I think for, for me, uh, I, you know, I need challenges. I've just, my, my whole life has been pretty much spurred on by, by having objectives, targets, trying to achieve them, and it, I need challenges. And it's exactly what you're saying, is, is what's next? Um, what is the challenge? What, what would I like to achieve now? And, and Altec transforming from a company that really was, was, was really lost into a company that today is, is one of the best technology ICT companies on the African continent and that's truly a global business with operations in India, in Sydney, etc., in Australia. I, I, I feel that the next objective for me is, is I would like to to double the size of Altec. I mean, Altec currently turns over yeah, about 11 billion rand in turnover, and I'd like to see it a 20 billion rand company. Um, I'd like to see us more global. What um, is it going to take to become a global company? Well, you know, we're global already, but we're not. We 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 still got a long way to go. And a heavyweight global player. Let's put yes, it that way. Then. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to take a tremendous effort, and again, it's a great challenge for me. And I think the board of Altec and the shareholders have asked me um, to to pursue the building Altec to even a bigger company and a more global uh, company. So we're in the process of doing that. We've just done some very big investments recently. We have massive operations in East Africa, where we're involved in the DRC now: Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya. We've got India, we've got Australia. So I think that that process is gonna continue. We're working on a lot of exciting things now as we speak. So I'm, I'm very encouraged that hopefully um, the targets that I've set for myself internally and that the board have given me, um, I can achieve um, in, in the, the medium to, to, to long term and actually really take the business to the next level. And I think that's what's, what's driving me. If we look at the, the developed environment globally, mm. There are not many examples of South African companies that have survived in the US and in, in Europe and, and flourished in the developed environment. Mm. Are you going to take on those territories? Yes, within reason. I think Altec's philosophy has been we're a little bit um, hesitant to, to, to jump in boots and all because of the very reasons you're giving. Um, the success rates haven't been there in the past. I think certain companies have taken big risks by kind of betting the house on, on, on entering the United States of America, as an example, where Altec is not like that. And, and I think from my perspective and in terms of the leadership role that I try to play here is that we try to take calculated, slow kind of decisions. We, we, the business moves quickly and all the rest, and we, we, we definitely operate efficiently. But we, we don't just take quick decisions to enter the United States of America as an example. So we, we generally feel Europe is, is not a bad place to, to, to play. I, I think the United States of America I think is difficult and we've, we've, we've kind of stayed away from that particular area of the world. So market. will your focus be largely on emerging markets? So you look at emerging markets would probably be where we would concentrate on. So South America, some parts of Europe. We're already in Australia, um, in Sydney as I said. And what gives me huge satisfaction is, is again, I don't know if it's just that I'm getting older because um, you know at my age now and, and being with Altec for so many years, um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of actually seeing homegrown South African technology. As an example, our digital our decoders uh, that we manufacture here in South Africa. Um, we have 280 software engineers that write software for set-top boxes or decoders every single day. And we've got 1,500 people at, at, in Mount Edgecombe in KwaZulu-Natal that come to work every day building we build 250,000 decoders a month for the global market. Now people say to me, but but geez, that's South African technology and you're supplying it into Mexico, you're supplying it into Spain, you've got Australia, UEC Australia, you've got UEC India. So I, I think it gives me a lot of satisfaction to see South African, a South African company with homegrown technology homegrown IPR or intellectual property that's being explored, exploited globally. The last 18 months has presented enormous challenges on the, the economic front, both globally and locally. How has Altec survived the, the turmoil that we've seen on the economic front? Yeah, I think, I think it's been a, you know, really the most difficult period. 
um, since the, 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 the depression. Um, that, that's how serious this economic downturn has been for, for the world, and in particular also South Africa. I think that overall, um, my, my feelings have been, again, mindset. It's quite easy to, to, to hop on the negative. If, if you're quite positive and you actually start thinking about the opportunities that come from that global turmoil, where LTEC has seen many opportunities that we've capitalized on during this past 18 months, where it's been quite difficult globally or economically. You've taken advantage of those yeah, opportunities. because whenever there's turmoil or whether, wherever there's t t a tough market, opportunities come out of that. And, and I think a lot of people don't see the opportunities and just focus on the negative. So we've actually capitalized on a lot of the opportunities that have come out of the global turmoil. At the same time, LTEC is, is a business that has been structured in a way that it is quite resilient by the nature of its businesses in difficult economic times. And that's been very fortuitous. I can say that to a large extent it was planned because strategically uh, I'm surrounded with some, by some very, very astute strategic people. And, and the way we've positioned Altec over the last 11 years has been on, on based on a couple core principles. One, own your intellectual property. Because if you own the intellectual property, you're not relying on a multinational or any other company that can squeeze you going forward. So your margins remain intact? Margins are better, margins remain intact. I, I guess if you're not adding value, which is intellectual property, your margins are under pressure. Two, if you don't own the intellectual property, you cannot globalise. So you cannot make your business a global business unless you own the intellectual property. So that was the second thing. The third thing is we needed to be global because you need to have a little bit of, of a basket of goods where you're not all of your business is in one particular country where if there's difficult economic times, you fall off the cliff. You want a bit of swing and swings and round. Diversifying your strategy. Diversifying your, 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 your business. And then we, we felt that a very good um, sustainable business needs annuity revenue or annuity income. And annuity income for us, again, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a definition that can be quite wide, but in our terms, we say any business that's recurring, that can give you income every month on a recurring basis. And whether that applies to a year or two years, that, that in our, our mind is annuity revenue or annuity income based businesses. Altex year end February 2009, we finished with 79% of our total revenue, 10 billion Rand, being annuity revenue, 79%. Now, for this year, we will be at 85% of our total revenue will be annuity revenue. And that is subscriber-based businesses, so it's net style. We, we own the intellectual property and we are billing 500,000 subscribers every single month. Altec Autopaid Cellular, we're billing a million people every month. At the same time, we've got our East African business where we are selling fiber optic cable to all of the GSM operators in order to offer them backhaul uh, um, telecommunications through our fiber network where we're charging per kilometer of fiber. That's annuity and normally you sign two, three year agreements and that annuity revenue is there and annuity income is there. So I guess that gives you and it's been proven that businesses that are targeted in that particular environment are generally better protected during difficult Well, with that annuity time. revenue, you can weather a continued economic storm. Storm, storm. yeah. And, and I think that served us well. I'm not saying we with the best. I'm not saying we've got it down. I mean, we have our challenges just like any company, and I can tell you. But I do think the core foundations of the LTEC group that have been put in place through very good strategic and astute thinking in the past has positioned us very well for this difficult economic climate that we're in. 